here. Hope you all are doing good. I don't know if you can tell it's raining outside. My step in right now, I'm actually sitting here just kind of going over what I got to do on this thing. I have some valve covers. I My old ones actually, I cut some slots out so I can bolt them on here. And then I can actually see the oil run. I have a, about a, let me see here. About this tool here to drive my oil pump. You just sticks that hole right down in there and that allows me to start pumping oil and uh, I tried to do it slowly to where it went over flow but it kept going over the, the cylinder head so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some of these old uh, cylinder heads I have that are, have the slots cut in them and that allowed me to see the oil flow and I need to rotate the engine also at the same time to get the oil to flow but that's kind of uh, let me cover this back up that's kind of where this is at right now I've just been kind of I've got, already got a little rust growing on there. That sucks. Yeah, I gotta clean that up. I gotta drain the oil, go through all that too. Just kinda trying to get this thing going and I'm having a hard time staying focused on it. I'm gonna put that right there. I don't know if there's something dripping down on that or not. But uh yeah, I gotta keep moving on this thing. Actually there has been water dripping at it. Alright, well, that's a little biggie. I'll have to Clean it up, drain the oil anyways, uh, spray it down real good. So I'm kind of in the middle of trying to get this oil primed. i got to rotate the engine 90 degrees each time, uh, run it for about 30 seconds until it feels like it's got all the oil pushed all the way through to all the rockers. i got new intake gaskets, i got new intake uh, uh, manifolds that are painted, a uh, whole bunch of other stuff ready to go. I just... I, Got busy all of a sudden, haven't been able to get back on this, so I'm back to this uh, now. Uh, my cargo van that I usually drive, it had some issues trying to pass my state inspection, and so I kind of got stuck messing with that. And uh, that's about 800 bucks I got to fork out on that, so I don't know, just been busy. And uh, you know, this uh, step van I need to get it going too, but I got a mess in here. Let me move back in here. Yeah, we're uh, we're getting closer. As soon as I get the intake on, the carburetor back on, I'll get it fired up. Uh, I got the, the preload set up on the lifters. I think I gotta get filled with oil before I try to crank it over. But but uh, I'm almost there. And once I uh, get all that stuff put back together, I'll be able to fire it up and uh, hopefully start driving this thing. And that was all I had left uh, to do on this was to get the engine done. You know, to where I could uh, go on ahead and. Uh, I need to take it out and inspect it. And it uh, just seemed like one thing after another. And I didn't want to just do half measures. I wanted to do it all right. Uh, so everything up on the above, uh, on the top part of the, the, the motor has been pretty much redone. I didn't pull the cylinder heads. I didn't see a need to. I had good compression in them. Uh, the valve springs are all good. I was going to look, look at the valve spring, uh, the valve guide umbrella seals. And surprisingly, this didn't have umbrella seals. So. Uh, I kind of, I thought, well, I'm not even going to mess with that because uh, I wasn't too worried about it. Everything's sealing up real good. Uh, I think my oil leaks uh, and then uh, from other things. So, anyways, I'm kind of, I'm getting there. I just uh, wanted to give like a little update video. I just want to keep this video short. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping uh, my sound will come through on this. It's raining. You can hear it pretty hard outside. But, uh, that's the latest and greatest. I got a few other things I got to figure out once I get this uh, put back together. My fuel line, uh, when I tried to pull it off the carburetor, it's a 3 8 line, it twisted the steel. So I have a double player tool right here in this red case that uh, I got to use for that. But uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> One thing after another. I, I'll have to make a new line for that. Uh, the carburetor should be tuned in close enough to get it started and then I'll. I'll finished tuning it but uh it probably smoked because when I did try to prime it the first time by the way don't ever use the auto zone oil pump priming tool it's uh too sloppy clearance and it didn't allow me to get enough oil pushed through the galleys and it caused the overflow on the one end that uh you know it made a hell of a mess so anyways I, I had to clean that up outside so with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I'm sorry, it's kind of a boring video, but, you know, I've, I've seen some new subscribers have joined, and I just want to kind of give a heads up that I, I'm still trying to get this thing going. And uh, hopefully uh, by the end of the weekend, I'll be back on the road with it. 
And by the way, here's the valve covers. I don't know if this will show up. But uh, I cut that slot in here. I have them sit down and glue it. I, I glued the, the gaskets on to this part of it. That way uh, it'll stay on and on. I don't have to worry about trying to line the holes up. I just got a bunch of weights sitting on top of it. You can't even really see them. If you have the lights, you can see what I'm talking about here. That's what I did. Cut a slot in here so I can see the oil flow on the rockers and uh, check lash, valve lash and all that. And then I got my new ones right here. They're just all sitting on there for weight. I hold the, the, the gas on. All right, well, I'll let y'all go. Uh, talk to y'all later. Be safe.